the, uh, the jam and the butter. Look at that. Now we'll give it a shot. There we go. There's some people over there in the water. Angle. So it's packed here. And here, we have a whole bunch of people doing yoga. So there's one for sale if you're in for a jet boat. So here's the happy pair. So, cafe and hot food upstairs. The tapas. I've heard about this. Someone uh, that's been a vlog in uh, Greystones uh, mentioned that they had the tapas. They said it was very good. So, Emer by Anthony Scott. Ooh, what do I have here? Cool mezes. Tzatziki, I love tzatziki yogurt. Let's see what type I want. Sorbet, chocolate, pistachio, Pokemon popping candy. This little bird wants to have uh, some of my food. Hey, get away you. Good morning everyone. It's a Saturday morning. It's about half six in the morning, maybe closer to seven. Uh, today I'm walking down from my place to O'Hanaran Station, which is a train station. And I want you to join me today as we take a, a beautiful scenic tour on the train up on the east coast of uh, Ireland. And we're stopping off at Greystones. Yes, that's right. We're going back to Wicklow today and we're going to go and explore the beautiful seaside uh, Used to be a village, now it's a town. There's about 18,000 population. We're gonna, we're there for probably about six hours. We're gonna explore, see what we can see, uh, look at the, what it looks like, the culinary uh, uh, choices that are available, maybe grab a sneaky pint before we head on the train coming back to Wexford. So join me today and we'll see what's Greystones and what's it all about and what it has in store, plus a beautiful train ride there and back. And I'll tell you about how to book it and there's little tricks that you can learn if you're taking the train in Wexford or in Ireland in general. So stay with me and we'll see what we get up to today. As we're walking past the Wexford General Hospital, apparently they're hiring. So if you want to come and get a job at uh, Wexford General Hospital, just put in your CV and then you, you know, you could live at this beautiful little town in the sunny southeast of Ireland. Although this year hasn't been very sunny. I think we might have had for the whole year, maybe 15 days when it didn't rain. But, uh, you know, it's still a lot better than some of the extremes that the rest of the world's going through. You know, a little rain will never kill anyone. A lot will, but, so we'll just keep walking on towards the uh, train station, which should be about a 40 minute walk, 35 minute walk, something like that. Here's a good sign, a few minutes in walking down, it got so warm that I actually had to take off my rain jacket, which I bring just in case. So now, this is the sun coming up. Nice blue skies ahead of us. We're walking by Glenbrook Estate. So, we still got a ways to go, but uh, hopefully the weather stays with us. It's looking promising today in our little excursion up to the seaside town just south of Dublin City. So I made really great time, like too quick actually. It's only 7.04, so we have a whole 41 minutes till the train comes. Here's the train station as we're looking at it there. Here's Redmond Square in front of Dunn Stores. So we got some time to kill. Luckily it's a nice sunny day. I don't even think the office opens up yet. So stay tuned and we'll see how it goes. Now just to talk to you about the ticket. I'm trying something different. Last time when I went to Bray, you can watch my Bray vlog. I'll put a link up here. Um, I took the train but I bought the ticket and I had to print it at the station. So I bought it on my phone, but I printed it at the station. Uh, this time I chose to do the QR code. So I have it on my phone. So this way I don't have to lose that little paper as long as I have my phone with me and fully charged, but I have a, a battery pack with me. So if I need to charge my phone, I'll always have that. It's a handy travel tip, make sure you have one. 
Um, second off, if you're going to book it online for the trains, try to do it well in advance. If you do it for over a few weeks, you could save a couple of quid. Um, mine cost me, I think it's uh, 24 euros return for the same day. Um, Cause that was at the flexible, not the super flexible or whatever. I would have saved about three or four euros if I would have booked it ahead of time. So it's a handy little tip for you. If you want to save a bit of money, uh, try to book trains in advance. I have a big train adventure coming in October after I do my uh, Pakistan trip. So make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button to follow up and the bell to be notified when those come raised. So in September, I'm going up to Pakistan, to Lahore and Islamabad, and then we're gonna go to the Waga border ceremony, which I'm really looking forward to that. And October, I'm heading to uh, Paris. I'm gonna fly into Paris. I'm bringing a little hostage this time, uh, Kira, um, Emily's daughter, the oldest daughter. We're gonna teach her how to travel, budget travel. We're gonna do seven countries in eight days, or at least that's the plan. We're gonna be taking the trains everywhere, maybe a bus, and we're staying at hostels, all with just one little backpack. So we'll see how that goes. And then I'm booking now for February. My plan is to go to Mumbai for about uh, 13, 14 days and first time in India. So stay with me, we'll see how that gets going. Right now we'll just, we're here waiting for the bus or the train station. I think the ticket place, the place is open, so we can sit there and chill for a bit. I uh, brought a little snack and some water, so I'll have that. The trains are handy because they do have bathrooms. So maybe I'll go show you what that's like a little later. So I'm just hoping to get the uh, window seat on the, uh, the water side because that's the best view if you're heading up from the south of the, uh, of the uh, country up to the north. Try to sit on the outside side so you get to see the water on the way. It's a lot better view. Now the inside is not too bad. You get to see the, the buildings and stuff, but there's a lot of greenery in that. You, you miss the view, so we'll see. It doesn't look like it's overly packed today, but we'll see how many cards they have. views of the ocean side as we're heading up north into uh, to uh, Wicklow and we'll go and see what Greystone's like so it's about an hour and 45 minutes till we get there and we'll just chill out and see what we have in store in the beautiful seaside town of Greystone's. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break pieces and be left alone once more if you hadn't been so patient you'd be easy to ignore you put up with all my till you didn't anymore and now i stand here calling at your door oh now i stand here calling at your door yeah i'm yours anywhere you want yeah i'm yours and now we're singing I have been too self-involved Been protective of my feelings But somehow you made me fall You got underneath the surface And you shattered every wall And I know I got that feeling There's no question anymore And now I stand here Calling at your door Oh, now I stand here Calling at your door Yeah, I'm yours Anywhere you want Yeah, I'm yours
Protective of my heart to reassure That it couldn't break to pieces And be left alone once more You got underneath the surface And you shattered every wall And I know I got that feeling There's no question anymore And now I stand here calling at your door Oh, now I stand here calling at your door Yeah, I'm yours Anywhere you want Yeah, I'm yours And now we're singing yeah. And now I stand here calling at your door Oh, now I stand here calling at your door Yeah, I'm yours Anywhere you want at uh, Greystones. It's about, I'll tell you the time, 9.31. So I think we're ahead of schedule. Now we have to find our way out here. Here's the station of Greystones. It was a pleasant ride. Um, the older car, like when we were in uh, Wicklow, the other side of this, the tracks was the, uh, the newer model. No. So, now we'll just look around to we'll explore the, uh, the town of Greystones. There's a little bit over 18,000 uh, residents here. And that's from the census of uh, 2016. So there might be a little bit more. Now, don't know about you, but I'm a little bit hungry. So, first port of call would be get something to eat. Like maybe a breakfast or coffee or something like that uh, look around town I suppose the Greystones has plentiful amount of supply of restaurants like very good restaurants so we're gonna take a look at that There's some old buildings. right on the uh, waterfront here it's the beach right there I've seen people swimming and, uh, all that when we were uh, going along with the, uh, the train along the waterfront People are actually in the water swimming. So you can see over here, there's Costa Coffee. So here's what it looks like at the train station. And now we'll make our way into the town. See what kind of shops there are. I think it'll be quiet still because if it's anything like Wexford Town, it only starts to get buzzing after 10 o'clock. So it'd be perfect opportunity to find a place to have coffee, maybe a sandwich or something, or maybe a breakfast. And then we'll look at uh, the map on the good old Google Maps and see what's around us. Um, later on, before we head back, we'll be stopping and getting something to eat for like a lunch. Walk around the shop, see what kind of shops they have available. And what does the uh, the town the fishing town or the port town of Greystones looks like. There's supposed to be a harbor here. We'll take a look at that with the pit, the beach. Now we can also, they have the walk that goes to Bray, which is, but that's been shut off. You can go, you get her, there's still some walks available. Traditional sweet shop. There you go. So here's the main village area. First stop is we're gonna go and get something, uh, probably a coffee. I see a Costa coffee up there. There's a little Bank of Ireland. Let's uh, see if we can cross over here. So this is, there's an insomnia there. Cafe Grey over there. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Now do we go to the old Costa or do we try the gray coffee, you know. There's some old jewelries. They've all moved all the, the diamond rings till it opens up. I'd say they open up after 10. Koi Ling's Japanese sushi and Thai. Joe's, three generations of butchers. There's, Certain fried chicken. 
McGunnan's Pharmacy. Yeah, I think Gray's the place to go. We'll go get a coffee next door across the road at Gray's. Please, they still have telephones. Fine wines. There's a restaurant. Burnaby uh, Food and Drink. Established 1881. That's a long time. Right across from the good old permanent TSB. And there's the station there. We just came from the other side. There's an AIB there. Oh, let's go in and get a start off with a coffee. I need a coffee after this morning. Started out early. Sit in or take away. Oh, it's for customers only. Oh, very good. Hmm. This will sit in. Jeez. <laughs> they look good. Hi, how are you? Could I have a scone? Yeah. And uh, get an Americano, please. Scone For here. For here, yeah? Yep. Would you like your scone walk? Yes, please. Okay, six euro. Your card or cash? Uh, cash. Okay. Okay, so we just got the, uh, the Americano, the heated scone with the jam and butter, and then some milk. So. Six euros for this, so we'll get dived in, have a see what it's like. I'll just set up my coffee first. I'll put some little bit of put a little bit of milk in it. Maybe some brown sugar, why not? Just a little energy that we needed for the day. that up. And now I'll get the, uh, the scone ready. Okay, so I've gotten the old scone all with the, uh, the jam and the butter. Look at that. Now we'll give it a shot. Mmm. Very good. Just up the Americano. Mucho bueno. So I'm just going to enjoy this now and then we'll get started on our exploration of Grey Stones. Okay. So that was Cafe Grey. Now what I'm going to probably do, make our way this way and we'll probably go to the beach first um, and then the harbor and then we'll explore the town. So that way it'll give everything a bit of time to open up because then it'll be like after 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and then we'll be able to explore for a couple of hours. There's a lot of Asian restaurant thing, raised on antiques. Hmm. Yeah. Well, they have all sorts of little knickknacks in there. And there's the train station which will be going later let's take a look at here so we are right here and I guess here's where we want to go so I wonder how we get there let's keep walking this way One game lane, jewelry store. And there's a park here. There's a breakfast place here. Boys' kitchen. It's a very nice park. There's park benches all along. Here's a, is that a library or a bookstore? It's on Mill Road. Library. 
Colton's at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Here's a place to escape to. Vix, another cafe. There's plenty of cafes around here. Dry cleaners. There's another Asian place. A lot of Asian foods, places so far. I've only seen about, let's say, five restaurants, and three of them were Asian. Here's St. Vincent de Paul, charity shop. And Breton carpets. And we'll just see if we can get in there. I don't know how to get to the beach area. I don't know. Turn it off right now. I want to see if we can go this way. Because that looks like it's a dead end there. And so is this. So let's turn it off now and go back. So I backtracked because it's sort of a dead end. So I have to go back to where we came, cross over the train tracks uh, by that bridge that we took. And we'll be able to access it that way. Walk around there, go to the harbor, come back, and then we'll explore the rest of the, uh, the town. So we, this is where we came across. So. We'll get to the uh, the bridge going to your side, and when I get to your side, I'll turn it on, and we'll get to explore um, Greystones and what it has to offer. So far, I see, and there's a lot of little restaurants and cafes and stuff. So let's we'll keep going. So here's the train station. Here we go, where we came up out. Now, if Google serves me correct, I think if we walk this way, we'll be able to get to. The beach walk along the beach and get to the marina we'll find out here's some mobile homes there washroom right beside it So here we go. What do we have here? Swim between the flags. Oh wow, so this is the uh, beach. Swim between the flags. Where's the flags? Let's take a look at the beach. Walk on the beach and see what it's like for a little bit, and then we'll walk towards the pier, uh, the harbor. It's nice and warm today. I didn't bring my, uh, I brought my jacket. I did bring a sweater and that, but I won't need it. And then tonight, I have another adventure planned, but that'll be a different vlog. That's going back to the roots of when I started the channel. So stay tuned with that. Well, the beach is very nice. You go to the water? Mm -hmm. Very sandy. Your feet stick into it. Here's some murals. It's a big beach, actually. It goes quite a ways down there. Surprised there wouldn't be more people here. There's some people going in for a swim and that. Mr. Crow. Let's go to the waterfront. There's your man swimming. He's got some sort of bag behind him. I wonder if it's a waterproof bag, water for a uh, waterproof bag with his stuff. So he swims and it gets out whenever he's finished. And Interesting. So you just bring your own stuff with you. Your feet stick into it. Look at my feet as they go right into the sand. I have my hiking boots on today just to be safe. Some people over there in the water. Get a closer. 
close miss. Whoa, that was close. Yeah. Durant swimming away with his gear. Whoa, we're getting close. There's my feet's footsteps in the sand. And then there's other ways to get up, I think. So we came down this way. Let's walk along the beach. We'll go up here. It hard. It's it, your feet really sink in. These are tiny, tiny little pebbles. There is up there is more sandy. This is more rock. But they're so small there. I don't think they would hurt your feet. It's actually hard to walk. Your feet really do sink in while you're walking. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off till we get towards the stairs there. And we'll go up and we'll continue on down towards where the harbor is. We made it to the steps. There's a little enclave you can relax into. Now we'll just head up. A little bit easier to walk on the steps. That gravel, your feet just stink, stick into it. Here we go. Make our way out. And let's go up this way. Watch your foot. There we go. Now, if you continue on. Ray is just down over there. They had a walking path that you could take from uh, Bray to Greystones, Greystone, sorry, and back. But that's closed off because of falling rocks. So it's not deemed safe. Here's another little, so if you want to sneak around, another little private little beach area. Very colorful van. Yeah, see the mountains up ahead? So you go up on there and down over there would be uh, Ray. It's very nice. Look at the jagged rocks. There's someone over there kayaking in the ocean. There's tells you what type of uh, marine animals you could see. Everyone's out with their dogs. It's a nice Saturday morning. We're lucky with the weather. It's a big school. Geez, that'd be very distracting in school, looking out the beach every day. Oh, we got a big bear or something. Looks like an old a brass or copper bear up ahead. Here's them. You can see the harbor up front breaking through the corner there. You can sort of see the post from the uh, sailboats. The masts, not post, masts. I'm not a sailor, so I was in the airborne. As far as I got for nautical terms, is port and starboard, and that was from jumping out of airplanes. Way up in the distance there, you can see a, either a ferry or a container ship. And then here's the, uh, what is it? I thought it was a bear, but no. It's a funny snout. He has a, there we go. Hmm. 
see what that is. Is the bucket and the spade for playing on the beach, I'd say. Interesting. Now let's continue on. We'll go to where every uh, 40 or 50 meters you come up and you see there's a bench to sit on and enjoy it. Here's some beachfront property, old homes. It's very nice and peaceful here. Very clean too. I haven't seen too much dirt so far. Which is always a good sign. I always check up for dirt and stuff. There's a coffee and gelato place there, but your man's already had his coffee. So now we'll be just working up an appetite for when we have our uh, dinner. And maybe a sneaky pint before we take our train on the way back down south to Wexford. We have lots of store today. I guess we could probably cross over and get into this the main town this way without having to go over the bridge. Here's another little beach here. See people, a lot more people in the water there. I see about a dozen of them there. When you have the weather, it's a nice place to be, Arwen, but like I was explaining before, well, unfortunately, we have a lot of rain this year. But, uh, yeah, look at the beach. It is a lot busier here than the other one. And uh, see that boy off in the distance? Yeah. You're right to that boy. Well, you swap around. I see the, there's two markers out there. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to stop it for a sec. Get a little closer to the marina now. Angle. So it's packed here. And here, you have a whole bunch of people doing yoga. Right on the beach. That's very peaceful. Imagine that, eh? Beautiful day, and your man over there, just over there, you can see him. He's uh, fishing. So, there's a plethora of things to do. And there's some new buildings in the front and the back. You see the old building, looks like a hotel of some sort, but it's very well done. It blends in with the new stuff and the old, so very nice. Let's just keep going. We'll get towards the harbor. Look what we have here. We have the big anchor. I noticed that was on the old Google map. Point of interest. So, big anchor for you. There we go. And guess what this is a, a sign of? We just pan right to the left, and there we are. We're in the harbor. So there's a reason. There's a method to the madness. But I notice everywhere is very clean. So, a few uh, rubbish bins put along the way, so make sure whenever you're walking around, visiting places, clean up after yourself. Don't, you know, take it, leave it as you found it, as they say. So here's a couple of the small rowboats and small sailboats in dock, dry dock. And now over there is where the bigger ones, the ones that are in the water. We'll go take a look at those. Here's some houses on the harbor front. Look at that one that has the, uh, the big sailboat in the window. Wow. It's really nice. Don't know if you can pick it up with the GoPro, but I think you can. It's massive. And here's some more mini sailboats. These are the types of way you use like in the Olympics and stuff. keep going on till the other side and then we'll make our way back in towards the town and we'll explore the town side and see what that's to you know has to offer all the little shops and boutiques and that and what I usually do and I'll probably do it again here whenever I go visit and stuff to a different village or town I pick up a lotto card for tonight the six the lotto uh, the national lotto tonight here's another anchor dividing the road up We have another cafe right there. And yeah, let's go see. It's very nice. It's a big actual pier there, look. There's East Coast minibus hire. 14 year old vehicle. There's amusements over there. 
So if you come here with the kitties, or the older kitties, if you like that stuff. And there's a little ice cream booth there too. The beach house. We'll take a look at this side and then we'll just keep going to the bigger ships. Let's we'll see what this is. Very nice though. It's very well done. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's another like little beach. And you could and then you could drop the boats in here, back it in, put it in the water. Very good. Let's just keep going. We'll move to the right. There's a nice little park in front too, shaded by the trees and those are nice trees, pine trees to keep you shaded even in the winter time. There's a boat heading out. Very nice. The hiking boots I usually wear when I'm doing like long walks. They tend to protect the feet better. Look at this. Car parks. Hmm. Interesting. Very good. Okay, here's another part of the mina. I don't think we can have access to that. I think you have to have a ship there. But we can get close enough. Well, there's one for sale if you're in for a jet boat. There's a lot of boats here. Sailboats. Power boats. There's another one for sale. And then over here, that looks like some sort of a bakery. That's a big boat there. Say they're worth a few, a few bob. Scale bakery. Yeah, it's a very weird front. It's like you don't even really notice it. Looks like a office building or slash apartment building. But here's all the boats. We'll walk to the end of the marina there, showing you the boats, and then we'll. Turn her off and we'll make our way back towards the town and we'll walk around the town and see what they have to offer some of the little shops cumulating with what type of restaurant will we pick for lunch and we'll see if they have any pubs in that we'll see take a look what you know Greystones has to offer but here's the end of the harbor you can see that and there we go so now we're going to take a right through, remember we mentioned that seats, towards the arcade? We'll walk that way. We'll see if we can get across the tracks that way. Without having to go all the way back to where we came from. Bag it and bid it. They're talking about little Fido. But I think, in general, put all your garbage away. Here we go. So here's the amusement place. Your man's stocking up a vending machine. Sheehy's Ices. So, doesn't look like it's open. We'll take a look here. Toilets. Could be toilets, that's good. So there's the train. I don't see the amusement park, but... Ah, 
now I'm going to see. We'll walk, walk along Victoria Road, see where that takes us. The beach house, harbor kitchen, and the creperie, and the boat yard. There's a sauna here too. Pretty good. I'm still not sure if we're heading in the right direction, but spend a little of coffee, home bake ice cream, so it's seven days a week. There's no seat in through the coffee shop. So we'll just walk along here. See if we don't if we can get into the main town without having to cross over the tracks there. I think I showed you in the front part where it had that new and old. Here's the uh, the other side of it. And unfortunately we're gonna have to go back the same way we came and go over the train bridge and we're back where we started. I could have turned right a little bit farther and walked um outside of town to come across but anyways scouting Arwind first Wicklow second Dublin so here's a scout center very nicely done what do we have here car park Greystones Clinic And the veterinary hospital. Wonder if you can get the cross that way. Don't know. To the left is the sea. I don't want to walk down that little alleyway because it's a fair ways probably could get across but then if it doesn't I have to walk back let me know at least I know I go this way I'll have the stairs to go across and we'll be fine so I'll wait till we get on the other side of the stairs and we're back onto the the main thoroughfare of this town and we'll walk around and explore some shops looking down the fat fox another coffee shop Right beside the church. Now, I think we can go this way, so we don't have to go all the way to the uh, the flyover and climb over the same way we came. We can get up here. This goes over the train, so I get to explore something different. La Touche Wines. That's a bread shop there. Room with a view. La Touche Barbers. Halfway up the stairs. Juju. And the funeral directors. Tony Jones upholstery, furniture restoration. We'll keep our way going, and we'll turn it back when we get up the top of the road. So. Looks like a residential and you're heading towards, that way you'll bring you up towards Ray. Here's Fenton Fires, so for barbecues and uh, fireplaces. And uh, what we'll probably do is we're going to walk here, cross over. We use the zebra crossing because otherwise it might be there for a while trying to walk across. There we go. When I do it, there's no cars coming. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Rents coming up on the left hand side. Sunny's. So, wood fired pizza and street food. 
And, uh, oh, it's extended. Sunny's beside it. And then we have the happy pair. Oh, very good. I might go take a look at that. That's the original one. It's twins that set it up. And it's a lot of vegan food and stuff like that. Organic. Yeah, I forgot. They were originally founded here. You can see them in all supermarkets, uh, especially all the super values and stuff. They all have happy pair products. We'll take a look at what the store is. Let's go. Chance arm. Right beside pretty one. So here's the happy pair. So cafe and hot food upstairs. Selection of scones and jam, 35, 335. Then falafel wraps, then fruit and veg. Wow. Take a look. There's music going on here, but there. Look at all these loaves and that organic malt loaves. Black sesame, multi seed, country wolf. And there's the prices. So this about fiber. And here's prepared stuff, some hummus, some soups, prepared meals. And uh, there's some cookbooks. And there's your man and happy bears. Very good. You go upstairs, you can come in here. Go to bakery. Wow. Lots of tasty treats. Happy bear. Mucho recomiendo. Smells nice in there. They have a garden out back that you can sit in. Pretty woman. Greystones Eye Center. Cafe Del Stella. Whale Theater. Mrs. Robinson. Looks like a. I wouldn't say a pub. It's more like a. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. Moretti's, that's a takeaway. Fish and chips. La Tapas. I've heard about this. Someone uh, that's been a vlog in uh, Greystones uh, mentioned that they had the tapas. They said it was very good. So, red nibbles, meat. Prices aren't that bad. You know, they're like seven euros for the bread and nibbles. Salads are eight and a half. Seafood's eight and a half to ten. Um, you have meats that are around seven to eleven. Poultry is about eight fifty. And vegetable dishes and that. So yeah, it's not too too bad. So it's right across from Mrs. Robinson's. And then we have jo uh, Gino's. Now we when I did the uh, Bray uh, the Bray walk, we stopped in and had a gelato. So maybe we'll have a gelato later on. Like it was a little bit pricey in that, but the, you actually got a lot in the little cup and it was lovely. There's a ramen sushi bar right beside the Super Value. And here we have O'Brien's. So it's like a off license. Jeez. So 10 euros for one of those. That's not too bad. 10 euros for a uh, bottle of wine. I remember when I was on the Camino, you can get a bottle of wine for like a euro. <laughs> but, uh, but really, uh, you can get a decent wine for about three, four euros. Camille, healthy Thai delivery uh, restaurant. And then we have Eternity Jewelry. Macaulay's. It's a chemist. There's a Jade Royale. So that's a Chinese takeaway. And then the Hungry Monk. 
So, we're right beside uh, the Ristorante Italiano here. Um, so, Bocelli, remember we walked up? So let's cross over now, because this is where we started off. So here's the Hungry Monk, it's a restaurant wine bar. There's the entrance. Wow, nice entrance, way. Right? And it's a quite a big premises. And there's the village bookshop. And here's traditional Irish sweet shop. Let's take a look what it looks like inside here. Ooh, Carolina Reapers, hot chips. Wow. Hi, how are you? Do you have any cinder toffee? No, I'm sorry. It sells out all the time in Wexford too. Down, all right, no butter. So here's a little sweet shop. It has all sorts of sweets, candies. Unfortunately, they don't have cinder toffee. That's the only thing that Emily really likes. So whenever I'm downtown, I usually pick her up some cinder toffee. Let's go up here. Yes, there's the cost of coffee that we've seen when we're coming across. Median point. So I think that's like a shop center. Go. Let's take a look what we have up here, and then we'll head back down, keep going to the right. Whale Theater. Oh, very nice. Let's take a look at what the Whale Theatre looks like from this side. There we go. Hence the Whale Theatre. So you go into it from the front. So here's what it looks like on the side. A picture of the big whale. And we see there's a horsey there. Let's go take a look at the horsey. Okay. So, you want to get into the wheel theater? There's the entrance up there. Let's look at this horsey. Is it stone or is it bronze? Here's a bunch of little boutiques in the center of it all. Oh, here we go. So, Emer by Anthony Scott. Let's see what it is. Oh, it is metal. It's hollow. Now yeah, we'll see. So there's a bulk food store here. Grafton Barbers. Oh, so it's a bigger entrance on the air side. It just had a little door, but inside is bigger. And this is a huge hairdressers for women. Some clothes and boutique for women. Some more. And then a florist, floral art. And here's the Costa Coffee with a nice patio up front. So you can sit here and you can see the sea in the uh, back corner. Huh? And let's keep going. Royal Park, Chinese restaurant. Okay, we'll turn to the right here. Wonder what we, so far, I don't know what I'm going to pick at for the meal. Why don't you, you've seen the ones that we've seen so far. What would you pick? What would be your number one? I think I have an idea of what I'm going for. But, let's see if it's the same one I choose. Mm 
there's where we started the journey in uh, Greystone. Greystone's uh, the Grey Cafe Grey. Here's the fine wines. Heaven. They have coffee here too. Staff, staff choir here at Burnaby's. You want to be part of the uh, 1881 tradition. We need a chef and waiting staff. Asu restaurant. And then there's another one. Is that, or is that the same one? That's the same one. Grace Dome's Business Bureau. What do we have up here? Just residential, I'd imagine? Yeah. And here's the park. Maybe I'll take a, a rest at the park. I have my water bottle. I may have a little bit of water. I haven't found a little shop shop, convenience shop. I think I saw on Google there is a center there or else we could always go into uh, Super Value and then you know, buy the uh, lotto ticket there. Okay. Let's go take a look at the park, see what the park's like. So, you know, right or left? He made his way through the spooky forest, which got thicker and thicker until it got very dark. So, let's go walk around here, see what it's like. Yeah, there is some buildings on the other side of the street. Oh yeah, that's where we had the St. Vincent de Paul and that, so. And then the place to help you escape. In the escape boutique. But we're here for the park. Oh, it's a little story, so you go around. Whoa! It's a nice little park to walk around. See people with their dogs. Make sure if you're bringing your dogs, clean up after you. Nothing worse than having kids play and step or put their hand in some dog fat wall. That would not be very progressive. Okay. And here's some more of the stories. See, you just go around, it's like a picture book. The beast was so scared that he ran around the forest in fright. At last he found a gigantic tree to hide behind. They have a defibrillator too. And of course, coffee and stone. Another proclamation that was uh, written by Podrick Pierce and is signed by the seven signatories of the 1916 Rising. There's the tricolor there. There's the AED, the defibrillator. And here's a little park of some sorts. Let's take a look, see what it is. These are Ronnie Drew. Raystone's wall memories. There's that hotel, the Touche. Remember I showed you from the front and the back of that? And there's a picture of the beach. Handy bench, you can actually lie on it. Hey. There's another bench. And I think that's about it. So if you walk underneath here, you can go across to the South Beach. We were already at the beach before. But you can get across there. So, right, right beside the train station, you have the Greystone Antiques. I'm gonna go and ask the owner if you mind showing off the little stop so you can see if there's anything interesting. Here, we'll take a walk into the uh, antique store. 
So it's located right beside the uh, the train station. So if you want to pick up some little antiques. Now when I did the Wexford Town one, I have a couple of hogs on the uh, the antique stores and lounies and all that and on the main street and that's it. I'll link that up in the uh, in the description so you can uh, watch those ones if you want. So here's a little antique shop right on the main street, sort of right beside the Oh, this is nice. Rain box. Lots of silver. Wow. Pens. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. So that's located right beside, so it's across the EIB, and it's a little shop right so, so you want to do some shopping. You know, if you're not, if it, the weather's inclement and you can't go to the beach. And here we go, let's just walk along towards, I think I might try the, uh, try my hand with the old, uh, Ice cream, maybe. The gelatos. It's kind of hot now. Actually, I'm quite warm. Of course, I wore my pants. Now, I could take off the legging parts because it turns into shorts. But then I have my hiking boots with my big woolly socks, so that's not really the best. Phoenix Travel. Oh, Yamas, Greek restaurant. Ooh, what do they have here? Cool mezes. Tzatziki, I love tzatziki yogurt. Calamari 1250, main courses, chicken or pork arrows. 2350. That's a bit more expensive on that side, but they're probably big plates. So, the mezzis, the warm mezzis are about uh, 13 to 8 euros. Cold one are about 7 to 8. And then the main meals are about under 30, like from 23 to 30 euros. And then they have dessert, baklava, 9 euros. Pretty pricey for a baklava. Uh, it's served with ice cream though. And then ham, feta, and mint burgers. Four for 15. This is at Joe's. And then it's on the only there. It has no sauce. Uh, so that's closed. I said they only open up in the evening time. Okay, let's go take a little break here and we'll sample Gino's. Let's get a small bowl. 450 top. Let's see what type I want. Sorbet, chocolate, pistachio. Pokemon popping candy. Lemon. Hi, how's it going? Hello, sir. How are you? How can I help you? I'll have just a small bowl, small tub. Yeah. Um, I'll try the lemon. Oh, chef, would you like to have a taste of it first? Ah, no, it's all right. You're going to have a chef, no worries. Do you like any toppings? No, no, just, no. just the lemon, please. Thank you. Thanks a minute. There we go. That's what it looks like. Where we sit? Where we sit outside. It's nice outside. Mr. Chain, sir. Receipt? No, you're grand. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Day. Cheers. So there we go. We'll sit outside in the shade and we'll enjoy the ice cream. Take off the bag, it's getting warm. So, we have our Gino's lemon tomato ice cream. They give you these paper cardboard spoons. Here's what it looks like. Now, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. 
it's a creamy lemon. The lemon's not bitter. You have the hint of the lemon, but a lot of cream involved in that. And, and like I said, they're small tubs, but they hold a lot in it. I'm gonna finish this while we sit here, right along the storefront, across from Mrs. Robinson's, and uh, Super Value. Maybe we'll go across and uh, get the, uh, the lotto ticket for tonight. Maybe I'll get lucky and win the lotto. You never know. Stay tuned to find out. Done and dusted. That was very yummy. It's worth the 450. It's not too bad. Um, you know, for our own prices and that, but you get the quality in that. It's really, really refreshing. Hit the spot on a nice sunny day like today. Now we'll just chill out a bit, relax the bones, and then we'll see what's coming up next. Now I'm going to go to Super Value here. You see they have the National Lottery sign up there. I'm going to go get my lottery ticket. Maybe we'll get lucky. Pretty there. Alrighty. Oh, uh, here's the bottle. Oh, there's some stuff in there. Can I have a national auto for tonight? Six euros? Thank you. Okay, so I got that done. That's the, uh, the winning ticket for tonight, so stay tuned and see if I win anything. Now we'll make our way back around. Probably won't show this unless something uh, interesting pops up because I've already done this part of the town. Um, we'll be having something to eat a little later. Um, I just take it easy, walk around, chill out, don't want any more coffee, add the ice cream, and uh, we'll see, where do I stop for my lunch? You have to stay, find out, a little later. Walking up the road uh, from Boots, there's a few barbershops there, the one there, it was looking in, it was 28 euros for a, a dry cut, which is very pricey. Like in Wexford Town, it's like 17. Um, here's a nice little house, though, eh? Inglewood. Just off the main path. Hillside Evangel Evangelical Church. Now, there is a, a Pakistani restaurant. Well, I think it's Pakistan, because I had the hoary uh, chicken and stuff like that, but it only opens up at four o'clock. Dada, it's called. D-A-A-T-A. -A -A. Looks really good. The menu looks really interesting in that, but unfortunately, it'll be closed by the time we leave. Or while we leave, it'll be closed. It's only open up at four. But it's a nice little walk up this, uh, this hill. We have time to kill till we uh, get our lunch. I've made the decision. I haven't told anyone yet. You'll have to just keep watching and see which restaurant it is. And we did walk by it at some stage. So that's where I'm leaving it. You'll see when we get there. You can see the hills in the background. Here's another part of the house. It's really nice, calm. The bushes are sort of grown over a bit. They need to be trimmed a bit. Like these ones. Yeah. It's under renovations, that one. It's a very quiet little neighborhood here. Just off the beaten tracks. There's the Auburn house. Interesting design. It's like two houses put together. And then go up, and then there's a little roadway there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off, head back. Here's the restaurant I talked about. 
Yeah. Pakistani cooking family owned restaurant. Here's they have an offer. Here's a picture. Ooh, mango assi. Very spicy lamb. Very good. Only opens at four though. Unfortunately. So if you want to come here and get it, it's right across from Boots. Now, despite all the selection that's available to you in Three Stones, I was eyeing up the um, tapas, the Greek place, and there's a, an Asian food. But because we're in Greystones, I figured why not try something very special that's unique to Greystones, and that is the Happy Pear. So we're gonna go in here. They have all sorts of uh, sandwiches and stuff like that. And then what caught my eye was selection of beer and wine available. So we're gonna go in and ask about where do we order, where do we sit in, and we'll have something in there. I know this says cafe and hot food that way, I, I think. And there's also seating out back. So we're gonna ask your inside here. And we'll see what we can have. I think we go this way. Oh yes, here we go. Oh, wow, that looks good. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Um, I can sit out back, right? Me? Of course. Okay. What do you recommend? So, what's your favorite? Personally, I recommend the butter bowl. So it's one scoop of the curry, one scoop of the rice, and the potatoes, and then you get all of the salads. Oh, jeez. Okay. Sure, I'll, I'll try that. Yeah. And the sign said you have beer available too, right? Sorry. Beer, there's beer available? There's beer here. Okay. Well, yeah. Very good. Oh, that looks good. A lot of leaves. So just big leaves. I don't know if there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's tons. Oh, hummus? Some of the hummus. Oh, oh yeah, geez. Have to have hummus. Do you want kimchi and sauerkraut as well? Um, no, I think the hummus will be fine. That's more than enough. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. I'll leave this up with the tip. Yep, thanks. Yeah, can I get you anything else from here? No, that'll be enough for now. I might come back and get some bread Thank for you. when I hit the road back home. So there's a whole bunch of uh, cookbooks available. All sorts of stuff here. Hello. Hi, and do you have a beer? Like any type of beer? Or? Yeah, we have a type of wolf fist. Are we? I'll put the wolf fist and just these three here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll try one of them. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, no next hair. Give it a shot, anyways. Yeah, of course. And which one would you like? Uh, a lager? Okay. I'll try the uh, the pale ale. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That is 21 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, that looks so good. I have you in the okay, thank you very much. Here we have the Buddha bowl. So with the beer, with the the Wicklow Wolf Elevation Pale Ale, 4.8 percent, fair play. And then, like, there's a lot of food here. Came to 21 euros altogether. I think it was 15 for the uh, the Buddha bowl. It's called. Got a glass. And of course here in the Happy Bear, it's all uh, plant-based. So, let's give this a shot and see what it's like. There's music in the background, so hopefully it won't affect it. We'll just keep it on the low down. The beer is very cold. Try the pale ale first. Might have another one later. We have time for to our bus, our trainways. So. It's lunch. 
Ooh, it's very citrusy. And we have, these are beans of some sort. Mm. Different types of salad. And hummus, lettuce, and rice. So here's what it is. I'm gonna eat this and I'll let you know when it's all dead, what it's like and if I approved it. Right now, I'm pretty happy with what I got. So while I'm enjoying this uh, meal, how many of you were able to guess that I picked the happy pair? I had passed by it earlier in the morning. So I just figured when you're in, uh, you know, Wicklow and at the, the Homeboys famous place, they started it 20 years ago, I think it was. And now they have not only just the restaurants and all that, they have a online following, I think a million members. They have uh, a farm and cookbooks and everything. So, and, and like I said, you can buy their produce at a lot of, of uh, big market uh, places now. I know all the super values have it and uh, they have their hummuses and their meals and stuff like that. And like it's a plant-based, uh, their, their idea of it was to uh, promote people to eat more vegetables and fruits bird wants to have uh, some of my food. Hey, get away you. Get away. Here, you want this? Here. Here's a little seed there for you. Here. Give him a little seed. See if he goes for it. There we go. Here. Here's a couple more. There you go. No, you have yours. Go eat yours. Get away. I'm eating my food. You eat yours. Eat your food. Okay, so that's pretty much about it. Wasn't able to finish it all. I'm absolutely stuffed. So I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy the sun. There's the little garden space in the back. And it's filled up and it, they have an upstairs and then they have the shops in the front that you, you seen when we were coming in. Uh, I'll probably pick up a uh, loaf of bread to bring home from the bus ride home. Uh, they had really nice loaves for under about a fiver. So think of that. We might have one more beer because we have about an hour and a half to kill till we get back on the train. And we'll see what else happens, but uh, like really happy with the meal. And I'm glad I came to the Happy Pears original spot because I've eaten it before. Never been to Greystones to actually experience it up hand in person. Hope you enjoyed uh, the walk in Greystones. My next video coming up will be the Taman, going back to Taman, and we're having a street fair tonight. So that'll be on another video. So make sure you hit the like and the bell button to be notified of the videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe, it costs nothing and it helps build my channel. Thank you. Hey, that's been a wrap for this one. Um, didn't have the other pint, I just walked around. Heading into the Greystones station now. A little bit ahead of time, gotta chill out. Charge my, uh, my batteries and my phone. <clears throat> Get ready for tomorrow. That'll be an extra video coming up.